you guys, it's time for another solar carport video. In the last video, I explained how to roughly estimate how much solar you need. The next question that a lot of people have been asking is, is it worth it? The answer is no. <laughs> the cost of a system that will eliminate your electricity bill will be more than you want to pay a month. The only way to make it affordable is to take out a low interest loan over a long period of time. A HELOC would be a good option. The government is relieving me of my tax burden for this solar project by 30%. That only means that I will not have to send the money I normally do to the government until that amount is exhausted. I think it's a good idea to take advantage of this program because paying taxes and not seeing a direct benefit seems unfair. With that being said, let's get into this. Here I'm going to show you the system that I got designed by Santan Solar. And this is what I'm working on when I'm building my system. This is the first disconnect in the service line. And it's in the main panel. Here is that component that's going to be in that uh, position. And this is a 25K and it lists a 22K. And the reason is uh, I can't find a 22K. But this one will be sufficient. It's got the lugs for the big cables. I'm going to put three aught cables in this thing. And that goes in the main service panel. The next component is this 10K switch for the solar system disconnect. Here's that component in real life. This will accept three odd cables and this goes in the main uh, service panel. This is the path the service line takes to the first disconnect, which is the fuse disconnect of the solar system after the gateway. Okay, I couldn't find the stud, as you can tell, I would search it. <laughs> Don't look at that. <laughs> this fuse disconnect is rated for 200 amps, 240 volts AC, and it's um, rainproof, so 3R rating. And here's a picture of where the fuses go. You can see they're not installed yet. Here's the service path from the gateway through the transfer switch when in solar mode and then it's feeding the new load panel. Okay, here's the new load panel. All of the circuits are going to be transferred from the house into here. And this is a 40 space 80 circuit panel. And that means that you can put any tandem on any space in this panel. If it was 40 spaces with 40 circuits, you would be restricted on what positions you can put the tandem circuit breakers in. This is the path that the service would take if the transfer switch was in grid mode only. And this would feed the new backup service panel or load panel. Here's the label for the transfer switch. 
There's the transfer switch. And this is, uh, it's got a lever on the side here. So one, one position is going to be for grid and one's going to be for solar. And that's what it is right there. All right, let me finish up this video. We got a little background music. So <clears throat> I just want to explain to you that I'm in the middle of the permitting process. It's uh, a long process. <laughs> so I started with the solar carport because this system is going to be um, a carport. So I wanted a carport for a long time for that side of the house. So I figured if I built that carport, let me put solar all over it. So that's one of the main reasons I'm building this solar system is because of the carport itself. The other thing is I wouldn't put solar on this house unless it completely eliminated my, my service bill, my electricity bill. So I got two Tesla Powerwalls on order. I haven't received any of them. And see, here's another switch that I'm gonna have to explain in another video. Um, this is the position where the Tesla Gateway 3 goes. And so we're up to speed on these components here. But then the gateway goes here and then this non-fused uh, switch goes after there. And then I have a meter and then I have another switch and then the gateways, I mean the Tesla power walls. So the permits are not ready. I went through the process through SRP with my design plans and I submitted it to them so they could review it. So they were able to approve it and that process took weeks, months, or it took a while for me to figure out the whole app that they have. So I finally got a hold of someone who was in charge of the app and I talked to her personally and she was able to direct me on how to get this process completed. So SRP has approved my design. Now I'm waiting on the stamping for the solar uh, structural and the electrical components. There's two stamp drawings from them. I do have the stamp drawing from the carport uh, manufacturer and I did have to change the plans and that cost extra. So it's, um, it was important for me to communicate with SRP to make sure that they would approve the design plans because I don't want to get those stamped unless I know that they're going to be correct. So once they got those approved, then I said, go ahead and stamp them. And I'm waiting on those stamps. <clears throat> so once I get the, the, per, the stamped plans from, from Santan Solar, then I'm going to submit it for permitting and we'll see how long that takes. So I'm trying to do the work that I can before I get permits and this is where I'm at. Now the next step is to connect these, the conduit. Here's the hand drawing that I'm working off of. So these are two and a half inch and that's, that's big enough conduit to take the service, um, the loads from the here and drop them into this load panel. And that's what I'm going to do next. I'm going to put the conduit. So I got two over here that I have to put two, uh, two, two inch. And so uh, I'm learning all about the code. So the code is it has to be uh, any entrance into this rainproof panel has to be below the circuit. So if the circuit's here, I have to put them down here. I wanted to put it here. I guess I could put it up here with the Myers connector, but I didn't get any Myers connector. All I have is rain tight connectors. So I'm going to go ahead and, and use those. I'm going to put both of them down here. Then I'll have to mount my circuits breakers up here somewhere, which is fine. I think I can handle that. And I think that'll be okay. So if anybody wants to comment on on anything that I got going on, any mistakes you see, let me know. Cause I'm not an electrician. And all I can do is read the code and watch videos. So thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned for some more.
You put the chain right there? Yeah. Is it heavy? Uh, no.